Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. In previous video, we have studied the star-star connection. The meaning of star-star connection is that both the primary winding as well as secondary winding of transformer are connected in star. In this video, we are going to study about delta star connection. Basically, delta star connection means that the primary winding of transformer is connected in delta, whereas the secondary winding of transformer is connected in star. This type of connection has advantage over the star star connection because all the demerits of the star star connection are eliminated by the delta star connection. Now let us see the diagram for the delta star connection. Figure shows the diagram for the delta star connection. If we see carefully, the primary winding is connected in delta, whereas the secondary winding is connected in star. Now we know that when the two windings are connected in delta and star, their voltage and current relations will also change. The phasor diagram for the same can be shown in the figure. Here the figure shows the phasor diagram for delta star connection. If we see the phasor diagram, the voltage small a n of the secondary winding is leading the voltage capital A n of the primary winding by 30 degree. Similarly, the voltage small b n of the secondary winding is leading the voltage by the 30 degree. Same thing can be expressed in case of voltage small c n which will lead the voltage capital C n by the 30 degree. Similar relationships can be obtained for the current. Now here the primary winding of transformer is connected in delta whereas the secondary winding of transformer is connected in star. We know that in case of delta connection, the voltage relation is given by. For delta connection, VL is equal to VPP, that is line voltage is equal to phase voltage, but ILP is equal to root 3 IPP, that is line current is equal to root 3 times phase current. But in case of star connection, VLS is equal to root 3 VPS and ILS is equal to IPS. Now in case of our transformer, primary is connected in delta whereas secondary is connected in star. Hence here the denotions are given accordingly for the primary winding and secondary winding. Now if we want to calculate the voltage ratio and current ratio, it can be calculated as. Therefore the voltage ratio is given by VLP by VLS is equal to VPP divided by root 3 VPS. But we know that the value of VPP by VPS is equal to alpha. Hence, we can modify this equation as. Therefore, the value of VLP by VLS is equal to alpha divided by root 3. This is the value of voltage ratio. Similarly, we can find the value of current ratio as. Current ratio is given by ILP divided by ILS is equal to root 3 IPP divided by IPS. But we know that IPP divided by IPS is given by 1 by alpha. Hence, substituting this value in the equation, we get. Therefore, ILP divided by ILS is equal to root 3 divided by alpha. Now, in this figure, if either primary winding or secondary winding, if phase shifted, then we get the value for the minus 30 degree phase shift. The diagram for the minus 30 degree phase shift is shown as. Here, if we see, the secondary winding is phase shifted by 30 degree as compared to the primary winding. Thank you friends for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda. Thank you.